And that officer is Scott Rasmussen from Frenchtown High School, awarded SRO of the Year at the first annual School Safety Recognition Awards at the Jeremy Bullock Safe School Summit. But as you might expect, that's not what he wanted to talk about today. He wanted to talk about keeping the campus safe. I take it upon myself to make sure that I'm always a visible presence, uh, walking around, checking doors. Uh, and when I come up upon something, to question it uh, and then bring it to the proper channel to then be able to uh, address it and, and change that. I met Scott and Deputy Tyler Terrell, a resource officer at several schools in the area, as they gear up for another year. Now, a threat to a school can be anything from weather to an intruder, and that's where the standard response protocol comes in. The standard response protocol is uh, an all hazards uh, emergency response. It takes it, strips it back to about five actions. But it goes well beyond that to a mapping system. Here's an example. It clearly lays out the campus for a quicker law enforcement or medical response. The school has bought off on that and think that it's a fantastic strategy to then increase the, the, the response time and knowing of having some sort of known information going into the unknown. Not all schools have this yet. Target range could be next, as with Washington Grizzly Stadium. In fact, Deputy Terrell recently helped Woodman School identify safety shortfalls, something he would like to see done on other campuses too. And in light of school violence in other parts of the country where the response from law enforcement has been criticized, I asked if they're ready for the worst. Our oath that we took and swore to uphold and protect our citizens is paramount. The priority is to go immediately to the threat and stop the threat. In Frenchtown, Jill Valley, MTN News.